Hello and welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd and you are watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I've got some breaking news coming out here for you and I'm going to do a video in response or an update to yesterday's video talking about Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israeli Prime Minister on the right side of your screen. He came out yesterday uh, say, stating that the Rafah invasion had a date that was set. Okay, that they were they were planning to uh, go into Rafa and they had a date that was set to move in with this invasion. Well, now we've got an update here that Yoav Gallant, the Israeli defense minister on the left side of your screen there in the blue shirt, he's coming out and stating the opposite now. Now he's contradicting Benjamin Netanyahu and saying, no, we never set a date to go into Rafa and that he told uh, U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin uh, that uh, they don't have a date set. So this is very interesting. I mean, uh, I don't understand how the Israeli government, especially with the defense minister and, and Benjamin Netanyahu, you would think they'd be very like, you know, have very close ties and close communication with each other. But apparently either this information didn't get passed along from Benjamin Netanyahu to Yoav Gallant, or they've both got separate goals here is what I'm thinking. Um, obviously, we know that Benjamin Netanyahu from the very beginning has just been like, we got to go in, we got to get this done now. But then everybody else is kind of pushing back against this. I'm not saying that Yoav Gallant has been pushing back, but uh, majority of the West, okay, the US, uh, especially President Biden gave uh, Benjamin Netanyahu an ultimatum just a few days ago. And uh, majority of the Western world is pushing back against this invasion of Rafa and also the, the overall um, invasion of the Gaza Strip. Okay, so I've got an update here for you, and we're going to go over this information. I'll also have a video to show you that uh, definitely for sure they are going into Rafa. It just looks like now that as far as there being a date to launch this invasion, that seems to hang in the balance here, which again is very strange because we've already had quite a bit of a delay here going into Rafa, and then we also had the Israeli Defense Forces pull out of the Gaza Strip, or at least southern Gaza and Khan Yunis. So let's go ahead and get right into this. This is a live update as of today, April 10th. Contra uh, this is on the Times of Israel, by the way. Contradicting Netanyahu, Gallant told Austin no date set for Rafa operation. So let's read this. So Defense Minister Yoav Gallant told U.S. counterpart Lloyd Austin during a call yesterday that Israel has not set a date for the launch of a major ground offensive in Rafa. Contradicting Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, a source familiar with the matter, tells the Times of Israel. Gallant said Israel is still finalizing its plans to evacuate the roughly 1.5 million Palestinians currently sheltering in Gaza, uh, Gaza's southernmost city, after fleeing the fighting areas to the north, the sources say, confirming reporting in Axios and uh, Haaretz. So um, regarding the Palestinians that are still in, in uh, Rafah, we do have word as far as an update. There's two things here. One of them is that uh, many of the people who are there have started moving north. Uh, some have gone back to Khan Yunus and further north in the Gaza Strip. Uh, but as far as I know, Khan Yunus is pretty destroyed, okay? There's not really much there, so I don't know where these people are going to go. Um, and then the other plan here is uh, they were they were planning to, uh, or Israel that is, is planning to get like something like 40,000 tents or something like that. Um, and they were going to place them, I believe, on the beach, or I don't know where they're going to put these exactly yet. And that's where they were going to relocate people was move them out of Rafa into some tents. That way they can perform this operation and go after Hamas in, uh, in Rafa. So it says here the call took place after Netanyahu claimed in a public statement that a date has been set for the Rafa operation. If he has a date set, he hasn't shared it with us. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told reporters earlier today when asked if Jerusalem had briefed Washington on its plans. So, I, uh, I did a video yesterday with Benjamin Netanyahu that I was telling you about. Um, <clears throat> I actually showed this video. So if you want to go and see that clip of Jake Sullivan saying that, uh, that uh, Netanyahu hasn't shared this, this date with them uh, in terms of this Rafa operation, um, you can go check out yesterday's video. Just hop on over to my page. He went on uh, to note that Netanyahu makes public statements, but also talks to us in private about aspects of operations and their thinking with Rafa uh, in some considerable detail, indicating that there is often a discrepancy between the two. So yeah, it definitely looks like it, that there's um, 
there is some discrepancies here that either, either like I said, information is not getting passed along from Benjamin Netanyahu over to the defense minister, uh, Yoav Gallant, or they've got separate agendas or goals here is what I'm thinking. Um, but regardless, we do know that they're going in. Okay, this is very clear that they're going to be going into uh, to Rafa at some point. It's just now it looks like, uh, I don't know, is there a date set or is there not a date set? I mean, regardless, does it really matter whether there's a date set or not? Um, as long as we know they're going in, that's all that really matters here because uh, I'm sure tensions are going to flare throughout the Middle East uh, if Hamas gets really close to being eliminated here, assuming that Israel can perform uh, the job and get it done. So let me show you this video here as well from Yoav uh, Gallant, the defense minister, uh, talking about the withdrawal of the troops from Khan Yunus and that they are preparing to launch uh, offensives into Rafa and finish the job. So let's take a look at this. I finished the מרשימים ביותר, פגיעה במחבלים, השמדת מטרות אויב, מחסנים, אמצעי לחימה, תת קרקע, מפקדות, חדרי קשר, כל הדברים האלה בוצעו בצורה מאוד מאוד מרשימה, בכך החמאס הפסיק לתפקד כארגון צבאי ברחבי רצועת עזה. הכוחות יוצאים החוצה ונערכים למשימות ההמשך שלהם. ראינו דוגמאות למשימות כאלה בפעולה בשיפה, וגם למשימת ההמשך שלהם במרחב רפיח. אנחנו נגיע למצב שהחמאס לא שולט ברצועת עזה ושהוא לא מתפקד כמסגרת צבאית שמהווה סיכון על אזרחי מדינת ישראל. סיימת. Okay, so as you can see here, they are clearly going to go into Rafa. He said there that they're, they've pulled out their troops um, and they're, they're getting ready to launch more operations in the Gaza Strip. And primarily Rafa, because Rafa is one of the last remaining cities, um, if not the last remaining city, for the IDF to uh, work through and uh, finish off Hamas. So I just wanted you to see that to let you know that uh, definitely it looks like they are going in. It just looks like obviously there are some discrepancies here between uh, these two gentlemen, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and the Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant. So let me know what you think down below. Um, do you think there's a possibility that maybe they won't go in here or what's going to happen? But uh, definitely we are we are seeing a lot of kind of bouncing back and forth here. And there's obviously been this kind of awkward delay and pause in the fighting uh, in regards to going into Rafa. But we know that the, uh, the main part of that is that they've got to get these civilians out of there first. There were somewhere upwards of 1.5 million civilians. I don't know how many are still left in Rafa. Could be hundreds of thousands still there, but we do know that some of them have been evacuating lately over the like the last week, um, especially now that the IDF has pulled out of Khan Yunus. That allows them a safer corridor to move north um, so they don't get caught up in the fighting. So again, yeah, let me know what you think about this. Very interesting. I just wanted to share this update with you and get that information out there. If you got something out of this, smash that like button. And also, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing down below. Hit the notification bell, that way YouTube can notify you. And with that, I hope you all have a great day. Everybody take care and God bless, and we'll see you in the next one.